Helium is a colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic gas, represented by the symbol HE. It's the second most abundant element in the universe next to hydrogen, but it's rare on Earth. In fact, there really isn't any in the atmosphere because it's so light, it just floats away. So where does it come from? Almost all of the helium that we have on Earth comes from underground natural gas deposits, but not just any deposit contains helium. The natural gas has to be trapped in an area with a lot of naturally occurring uranium ore surrounding it. The ore gives off alpha particles that convert to helium. The natural gas in such areas contains up to 7% helium, which can be distilled out of the gas by liquefying it. These natural gas fields are rare, so the quantity of helium that the world can produce is limited. A helium balloon is the simplest flying machine. It's made possible by the fact that helium is lighter than air. A normal balloon that is one foot in diameter can be filled to contain about 14 litres of helium. This will enable the balloon to lift about 14 grams. As you increase the size of the balloon, you increase the weight it can lift. The Goodyear blimp, one of the most famous blimps using helium, takes the size thing to extremes. It can carry up to six passengers. When helium is not busy lifting things, it can often be found cooling things, like the superconducting magnets in commercial MRI scanners. About a quarter of the world's helium production is actually used for cryogenics. Over time, helium supplies could get strained in the way oil supplies are being strained today. If that happens, helium balloons and blimps could become a thing of the past.